Hello, everybody. I'm Patience Montessori from Ghana. I'm very excited to be with everyone here. I hope I'm gonna learn everything from you and just can continue just to learn from each other. Thank you so much. So can I proceed? Yes, please. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Yapsara from Ethiopia. Uh, uh, I'm working on peace building sector, uh, working for Life and Peace Institute here in Addis. So I'm very pri privileged to be with you guys and looking forward to hear and to change the exchange experiences from you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Um, hi everyone. I'm Daisy from Uganda. Wanyana Daisy from Uganda. I'm a master student, uh, public health nutrition, and I'm um, a teaching assistant at uh, Victoria University. I know some of you have heard about it, and uh, I'm a leader in my class. I'm a class representative. And at my church, I'm a leader for the teachers that teach the age group of three to six. I am looking forward to share my experiences with you as well as uh, learn from you. Thank you so much. So happy to be here. And yeah, I know I'm resourceful. Thank you. You mm are. -hmm. I quit. Hi. Hi. I hope my video is visible now. Yes, um, I come from, from South Africa in the Pitay province. First of all, check your connection. I think it's not working very well. Praise. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you so much for the warm introduction. We are all happy to have you here. Um, it's exactly five minutes by seven, and I think we can start with our side event for today, right? May I also kindly ask you all to mute yourself, right? And if you have something at all to say, please do raise your hand or write in the chat box that you have something to say. Okay, right. Patience, can you please mute yourself? Yes, please, hold on. Okay, thank you. I did. All right, okay. Once again, can you all please mute yourself to avoid a lot of distractions? Right, okay. Thank you so much. Um, please welcome to our first side event of Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome to our first side event. I hope you are all excited and looking forward to the third annual leadership, uh, third annual leadership forum for the Amazon Leadership Initiative. My name is Lina Shidika. I am from Namibia, and I will be your moderator for this evening outside the center, right? So just a quick introduction to who I am. I, I work for the bank, right? I am a banker in Namibia, and I work at the lead, um, partnership and fundraising associate at the Amazon Leadership Initiative. So tonight we want us to have fun. We want us to talk about who we are. We are going to talk about what we do at the Amazon Leadership Initiative. So with that said, with that um, small introduction that I gave, uh, I will give the platform to Jacinta to kindly introduce herself and the next part. Um, <laughs> Thank you. 
I think the thing is saying something, but her call is mute. Yeah, she's on mute. Okay. Hello, everyone. I know you can hear me now, right? <laughs> yes, now we can hear Great. you. Thank you. Great. Great. I was pleading for those who have their microphones um, on a mute to kindly mute themselves so that we can have a very um, effective meeting without much disruptions. Um, I was very happy that in the first five minutes, we are introducing ourselves and for the fact that we haven't met before, but then without much issues, we are I am really hoping that this energy is maintained till the end. So I'm Jacinta Jagli, the Vice President of the West African Caucus, and I'm moderating today's event with Lena as she has introduced herself already. Now, before we begin, I would want to see the countries that are represented in the yeah. house currently. So please show me the country you are representing with the flag in the chat box. I want to see which country is going to lead today's session the most. I can see some people smiling. It's like they already have some squad caucus represented. I can see Molloy over smiling. Octavia, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what she has in store. Okay, Sudan. I can see Sudan. All right. Some people are Oh, wow, Brazil. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I'm going to see the country that is most represented by the end of today's session. Awesome, awesome. Ah, uh, I don't see West African countries. What's going on? Ah, uh, ah, uh, my West African girls, where are we? West African ladies, where are we in the house? We can't be cheated, oh, we can't be cheated. <laughs> Okay, okay, I can see Nigeria now. Okay, Lesotho, all right. Yeah, that's the exact energy we need in the house. So, knowing that um, most parts of the okay, 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 by the time we are done, I would announce the most represented country, and I know West Africa will take it. No doubt about that. We don't get cheated anyway. <laughs> Those who think I'm lying, you can dare me. You let's watch out. Okay. So beginning the session officially, we would call upon our sister Peace. Peace is the president of the Saint Caucus, which is made up of the Central, Eastern, Northern, and Diaspora. Peace Brenda Nanjera would give us the opening prayer. Peace is our bishop for tonight. So peace, if you're in the house, please take over. Well, Jacinta, thank you so much. Um, I know it's Saint that is going to win this competition. I've seen so many people from East Africa. Mm -hmm. I've seen some people from Kenya. I've seen so many people from Uganda. I'm so excited to be here with you all. Okay. Um, let's put ourselves and pray. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you so much for this time that you have given to us. Father, we pray that you come and help us to learn something, may help us to get empowered, that we shall be women of influence wherever we go to. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Over to you, sister. Amen. Amen. Winning. Said is winning. <laughs> Okay, 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 peace. I don't know if you think because you prayed, you are closer to God. So whatever you ask for is what happened. Please, West Africa is taking this. <laughs> okay, so before we officially begin, I would want us to conduct a mood check. Kindly indicate in the chat box your current mood with an emoji. I want to see our mood and then I trust by the time we are done, the mood would have accelerated to an even higher level. So let's conduct a mood check. Okay, what's my mood? Mm, yeah, I think this what represents me. Okay. Okay, let's see the moods flowing. Okay, I can see people dancing uh, with more than five emojis. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let's conduct our mood check. Who else? Okay. Amazing. Wow. Interesting. Eh, someone is hungry. The mood someone is showing is full of hunger. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll be satisfied by the end of today's event. 
So then, Lina, if you are available, kindly shake us with the next speaker. I know our ladies are excited and we are going to beat their expectations this evening. Lina, who do we have next on board? Thank you, Sarah. You're the mood here. Pink. Heat. Heat. <laughs> yeah. So, our speaker, we have um, Divine Yamulamba. Divine is my colleague. She is the stakeholder as well as engagement associate at the Amazon Leadership Initiative. But okay, we might have uh, to handle it. So Divine, it is it's going to tell us who we are, right? I know all here. You hear the Amazon Leadership Initiative. You have applied to attend the forum, which we are all looking forward to. But we want to tell you now today, who are we? What are we? Why are we called the Amazon? And why is all of you or why everyone that is here today from now on, from now on going forward, why should they call themselves Amazon? Because I understand we are all Amazons here. So divine, what does it look from this one? God. Um, Divine, like I said earlier, is our stakeholder mm -hmm. and um, engagement associate at the Amazon Leadership Initiative. She is currently pursuing a postgraduate, right? Yeah, PhD. Oh my God, excuse me. Oh a PhD my in yes. PhD is the she is not of... our size. The lady is not our size. She's she not our maid. A PhD. <laughs> She's at the University of Pretoria, right? She also works as an author, a lecturer at the University of Pretoria. Um, while she is coming, because there are just a few things that you are getting uh, in order. While okay, she's Lina, coming... Lina, Lina, please, please hold on. Um, I, mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure Divine was in shape. But then before Lina speaks, um, sorry, Divine speaks, right? We have a little challenge with a little mm -hmm. surprise. I'm not going, I don't want to be a spoiler, right? I, I really hate movie spoilers. So I'm not going to be an event spoiler. Yeah, but there's a little surprise. I know, like Lina said, there are so many people. What's the Ali? Who are the Ali? What, what, what? Fine, but you apply to the forum, right? So by now you should have a little idea as to what the alley is. So we are going to conduct this challenge. We want you to type in the chat box what the alley is. However, if you feel you are very confident enough in knowing or in the knowledge you have about the alley, <laughs> kindly raise your hands and then you'll be called upon to speak. We are choosing three people. So the three people to raise their hands are going to be called to tell us something they know about the alley. Trust me, there is a big surprise at the end for you. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you wouldn't want to miss it. So please, please, please. Yeah, okay. Know about Which hands? Did I hear someone say, I know nothing about the alley? I hope I didn't hear that. <laughs> I hope I didn't hear that. Okay. Any hands? Any hands? There is an award. I want to spoil this, but there is an award. You trust me. You don't want to miss out. No hands. No hands to tell us what they know about the alley. Ah, uh, so okay. I can see. I can see. Okay. Whose hands? It's not Yali. It's not Yali. The Ali. The Ali. Yeah, that's different from Yali. I'm typing it in the chat box. Um, The Ali. Yeah. So, okay, I can see Daisy's hands. And wow, okay, now I can see like five hands. I don't know if there was a backstage meeting before the hands are being raised now okay six hands okay 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 so i'm starting with chloe chloe pamba kindly tell us what you know about the alley please unmute yourself and speak hello hi hi chloe 
I'm Chloe Pamba from Kenya. And uh, the Ali is a non-profitable organization okay. that is focused on alleviating gender inequality and realizing the fifth sustainable development goal of gender equality. Okay. Um, it works in mentoring young women and educating young women as well as fostering them into leadership opportunities. Yes. Great. Thank you so much, Chloe. Um, please listen. Everyone here should listen because you are going to vote after Divine and Exoda are done speaking. We are going to vote for whose description best matches what they tell us. So randomly, I'm choosing Moloy. Moloy, please unmute and tell us. The way you're smiling, it looks like you're winning this, but well, the floor is yours. <laughs> um, hi, everyone. My name is Oetu Moloy. I am from South Africa. The ALI stands for the Amazon Leadership Initiative. And I believe that it empowers women and young girls. Um, I think it also empowers, um, it provides mentorship rather um, to young, to females, let me just say females. And also um, it is um, an, an initiative that provides support to young girls. And okay. yes. Great. Thank you very much, Moloy. We really hope to see your name flooding the chat box when it's time to vote. <laughs> okay, uh, but you're actually at liberty to start lobbying backstage to get people to vote for you, you know. So next up, we have uh, Julie. And is it Anikit? Julie, Julie, if you can hear me, can you unmute and speak? I know that is a competition. So you are not just speaking. You are speaking to win. Okay. Julie, Julie, if you can hear me. Okay, since we can't hear from Julie, let's move to Daisy. Daisy, please tell us the country you are coming from and then tell us what you know about Yali. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Daisy Wanyana from Uganda. And um, what I know about Yali, and uh, I would say what really inspired me is the fact that we are looking at, oh, it's, okay. It looks at empowering women and young girls to have um, equal opportunity or to believe in themselves that they can have the same uh, capacity or the same, they can go for the same uh, opportunities as the other gender. So basically to know that if I want to go for a certain position, I carry the same right as the other gender. And that for me inspired me to really go for it. And I know that's what Yali stands, the Yali, the Alil stands for. Great, great. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Daisy. Thank you so much. Um, I'll be taking the last person. Um, is it Rahel, Rahel or Rachel? Whichever it is you respond to, please. Unmute and tell us what you know about Yali. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Hi. Rachel Burundi. I'm from Uganda. And what I know about the Ali is it's an organization that empowers women and girls. It provides them with mentorship, education, and career guidance. And it also addresses gender gaps that fall in line with the African Union Agenda 2063 20, Aspiration 6. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rachel. So I hope we've all heard them. I hope you are all going to be active voters when it's time to exercise our franchise. So without wasting much time, yes, Divine has already been introduced. So Divine, if you are ready, please take over. Good evening. Thank you, Jacinta. If everyone can hear me, please just let me know on the chat box because my background noise is a little bit strong tonight. But if you can hear me, just indicate it on the chat box so that I know that I can carry on. Amazing. Thank you, ladies. It is such an honor for me to be here today um, to discuss something as imperative as 
the reason for our existence, right? And to, tonight I'm going to take you to a history course, right? But it's not going to be a history, a boring history course, but a rather interesting one because I need to inform you all why we are called the Amazon Leadership Initiative, right? So the word the Amazon Leadership Initiative wasn't just chosen coincidentally. I believe that there is always purpose behind a name or intentionality behind a name. And it wasn't just for nothing that <clears throat> our founder and executive director, Ms. Mary Zobo, chose the Amazon Leadership Initiative. So without you know, wasting any more time, I just want us to play a little game quickly. I want you to write down a synonym or a word on the chat box um, that you feel really means the Amazon. It could be any adjective. It can be beautiful. It can be energetic. But what do you think the word the Amazon means? One word, one synonym on the chat box. Let's see. Courageous, elegance, warrior, equality, warrior. I see a lot of warrior. Uh, intelligence, motivational, tremendous, eye-opener. Huh. This is good. This is really good. Keep it coming. Empowerment, diversified, unstoppable, enthusiasm, legendary, strong, fabulous. <laughs> All right. So as you're keeping it going, I'm going to go straight into the matter of the night. And I believe that some of you are actually closer than you think to the actual definition of what it means to be an Amazon, right? These answers are extremely interesting and I'm so glad that they are close to what we're gonna discuss tonight. So there are two sides of the story, the African side and the Greek mythology side. So for the African side, the Amazons, or should I rather say the women fighters of the kingdom of Dahomey, were an all-female regiment of warriors army of the Republic of Benin who existed from the late 1600s to the early 1900s. So the Dahomey kingdom was largely made up of the Fon people, that's how we call them, who were situated towards the south of the country in between Togo to the left, Nigeria to the right. These women fighters were also known by other names in the Fon languages, including Agoche, Agoji, Mino, Mino, they were renowned for their zeal and ferocity. They were fearsome, armed with rifles. They were also archers, hunters, and spies. So the Amazons were celebrated in the regions because they successfully expanded the Dahomey Empire beyond its capital, which was Abome. They trained intensely, often even hand-in-hand -hand combat amongst themselves. Discipline was so emphasized within their team. So they learned survival skills and how to be indifferent to pain and death. Tales of their exploits astonished many European explorers and colonizers and even slave traders. And the region's female fighters actually helped to, to refine Dahomey's reputation as a force to be reckoned with. Now, if that's the, if that's the history of the Amazons, the African history of the Amazons. What do you think the Greek mythology one is all about? Can you take a guess? Take a guess on the chat box. What do you think that the Greek mythology history of the Dahomey Amazons are all about? Okay, legendary woman king, someone said that. What do you think the Greek one means? So remember, we have uh, the African history of the Amazons, of the Dahomey Kingdom, and then we have the Greek mythology one. So Rachel says woman warriors. And yes, she is right. So I, I don't want to waste any time. The Greek mythology actually means that it's the ancient of female warriors and hunters who are skilled and courageous as men in their physical agility, strength, archery, riding skills, and acts of combat. They were actually the daughters of Ares, the god of war. So today, beyond what we read in history, we can now reflect on the story of these warriors, in, even in our movies. Do you guys remember a movie called The Woman King? Anyone? The Woman King? If you haven't watched The Woman King, I really, really think that you need to go and make it a priority to watch it before the end of the year. 
right? So that's where we have celebrities such as Viola Davis, who was the lead in the story, and even the South African star Tuso Mbedu um, was also the lead in the story. But did you know that The Woman King is not the first time that the Dahomey Amazons appeared in Hollywood? They were also demonstrated in the movie Wakanda, the Wakanda warriors in the blockbuster film Black Panther. They modeled on the Aguji. They are the protectors of the Black Panther. So we see that really it's not just the history that is left behind, right? Uh, this is something that has touched so many people. And now it is only really now that we are seeing history resurface and the importance of the Amazons and the Dahomes, um, like really being emphasized. So ladies, the next time someone asks you who you are, hold your head high, like the warrior that you are and tell them that you are strong, you are fierce, you are powerful, you are confident, you are a force to be reckoned with. You are a disruptive thinker with a mandate to shatter glass ceilings and take up space. So that will be all for me, Jacinta. I hope that everyone now has a better idea of where the history of the Amazons comes from. Awesome, divine. That was a um a mind blown at who my idea like. I'm amazed at my identity right now. I already knew much of this, but then maybe it's the way you said it. And I saw from the chat box, someone said, women's stories can never be boring. Please, I need you all to use one way to describe what you feel you are from the story Divine has given. Honestly, I need one, one word, one word right now. I need to see the words flowing, one word describing. Someone says, I am a woman. And I think that in itself is a very bold statement, strong, overcomer. Wow, wow. Let them keep flowing in. Courageous unique, sophisticated, my goodness. Someone says she's a goddess, unrivaled, powerful, amazing, conqueror. I think we could go on and on and on. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much, Divine, for taking us through history lane, right from Africa till we landed in the Greek mythology. We are so grateful. Um, Lina, who do we have on board? Lina, who is next to inspire us and kick everyone's ass here. Guys, <laughs> well, 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 my common narrator is something else, guys. Are you, I, are you feeling what I'm feeling? Yeah. I am, I am. I am. The funny oh thing God. is, I have my AC on and I'm still feeling the heat. I'm still feeling the heat. Imagine. <laughs> I see. I... <laughs> all right. All right. I laugh too much. I might forget what I want to say next. So, thank you so much, Divine. Thank you so much for, for, for telling everyone why our the narrative behind why we call ourselves the Amazons, right? Thank you so much. That was quite insightful. Now, moving on, Divine has told us why we call ourselves the Amazon Leadership Initiative, right? So, Exelda will take us through, uh, she will take us through the history of the Amazon Leadership Initiative. I saw someone say the Amazon Leadership was founded in 2001. Oh my God, we are still... We are actually just three years old. So the Amazon Leadership Initiative, listen to me and listen to me very well. It was founded in 2020, right? 2020. So I am going to give a quick introduction of our next speaker. She's actually my colleague also. So we are, we are 10 at the Amazon Leadership Initiative. And some of us, like myself, we are aging. So we are looking forward to who is going to take up our positions moving on, right? So Exilda, um, just a quick introduction of who Exilda is. Exilda is a Zambian economist and the programs associate at the Amazon Leadership Initiative. She has a profound commitment to fostering positive change and empowering young girls and helping them realize their full potential. 
she's an advocate for financial literacy. So if you are if you are if you if you are struggling to manage your finances, please, we are having a financial someone that can advise uh, advise us with finances here. She is also deeply touched by the cause of children living with disabilities, and she always strives to ensure their voices are heard and their needs are met. Exeza is a beacon of hope, using her talent and passion to drive meaningful change and create a brighter future for all. Exilda, the platform is yours. Please do take it away. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. I'm happy to be here. And I um, just want to thank everyone for the huge turnout. We, it's a pleasure to have all of you here. I'll be speaking on the Amazon Leadership Initiative, just as my colleague had spoken earlier. The Amazon Leadership Initiative was founded in December 2020 by our founder and our executive director, Ms. Mary Zobo, who is an international human rights lawyer, a gender advocate, and also a human, human rights advocate. Mary Zobo is so inspiring. I'm sure a few of you have gotten um, it's an opportunity to meet her, and the others have gotten an opportunity to interact with her. I'm sure the others that have attended our other forums, because this is our third annual forum, so others that have been able to attend the other forums have gotten an opportunity to interact with her, to get the words of wisdom from her, and we are just pleased and we hope that we we'll continue to grow together so that we may get to learn more from each one and everyone at the Amazon Leadership Initiative. So the Amazon Leadership Initiative is a non-for-profit organization that works to alleviate gender inequality. It's in line with the Sustainable Development Goal Number 5 and also the African Union Agenda of 2022. So at the Amazon Leadership Initiative, we run a couple of programs. Sorry, because time is not on my side, so I'm going to quickly run through this. But please feel free to reach out to any of us if you have any questions about some of the programs that we run, because I'll briefly touch on them. So um, our first program is the Annual Leadership Forum, which basically is used to celebrate the International Day of the Girl Child. So the theme for our Annual Leadership Forum each and every year is Black Child, Your Dreams Are Valid. As a black girl, you should know that each and every one of your dreams are valid and no one should ever underestimate them. So we have the other annual leadership forum, which we are all going to attend this year, and others have been able to attend the past two years. So the leadership forum allows you young girls to meet with female luminaries so that they're able to inspire you, they're able to learn from them, and they're also able to learn from your fellow peers. Apart from that, we have the back to school program. So the back to school program is a program that is run by the Amazon Leadership Initiative, where we've been able to donate school shoes and other school uh, needs to underprivileged girls and boys in South Africa and Nigeria. Apart from that, we run a menstrual hygiene and menstrual health and hygiene program. This program is aimed at reducing period poverty. And through this, pro this program, we've been able to teach young girls on how to make reusable pads, and we've been able to donate some reusable pads in Zambia. Apart from that, we also have the mentorship program. I'm sure most of you lack guidance in your life and at times need people to help you in the direction that you want. So the Amazon Leadership Initiative runs the mentorship program. During the mentorship program, we get to meet with different mentors, but most importantly, our, our mentor, who's also the, the founder of the organization. So we have various programs that are run during the mentorship program. So uh, if you'd like more information, you can, or you would like to be part of the mentorship program, please feel free to send an email at info at the early.org. We'll be able to answer any further questions and let you know on how you can become part of that. Apart from that, we also have uh, an internship and job shadowing program. So this program helps us find, uh, this program helps you to, we help you prepare for interviews, we help you find um, aspiring internship opportunities. We help you apply through, the, through our organization. Or I can see a comment. We'll surely put down the email and other links that you might need to reach us. 
Apart from that, we also have a Pan-African network of young female leaders. So the Pan-African network of young female leaders has over 3,000 girls across Africa. So we have different girls from Southern region, from the Western region, from the Eastern region, and the Northern region. And also not forgetting our sisters that are living in the diaspora. So in total, we are about 3,000, and I'm sure after this forum, we're going to expand more. So the Pan-African network of young female leaders is a network in which young female leaders from across Africa and across various regions meet together to solve some of the issues that they get to face in their regions. Because we realize Africa as a whole is very big, and to address most of the issues will be difficult. So when we divide them according to regions, it becomes easier because at times, according to regions, the problems might be similar. So if you'd also like to be part of the our Pan-African network of young female leaders, please feel free to reach out to any of us. I'm sure when you check through the the participants on this Zoom call, you'll be able to see people that have the early at the end of their names. You can reach out to any of us, or you can send an email to any of us if you'd like to find out anything about the Amazon Leadership Initiative. All right, thank you very much. Sorry I was running so fast, but because we want you people to learn more about the early within this short period of time, I had to cruise, but feel free to reach out. We'll post the links on how you can reach us on the chat. Thank you. Wow, 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 wow. Exoda, you've turned me into an ambulance. I just can't stop saying, wow, wow, wow. Well done, Exoda and Divine. Like, I think the information is so much, but then they were very insightful, and I'm very happy to have heard all these things. At least, if not for anything, I know that I'm the daughter of a warrior, a warrior goddess number one and number two i'm part of a huge network of very influential ladies who are working together to solve problems especially in africa um ladies i think exilda and divine are very uh deserving of a standing ovation but unfortunately we are not having this meeting in person so i would want us to conduct a very short exercise right with your mic still muted, kindly turn on your camera for those who can. I know some of us are not in areas where we can have our cameras on. So for those of us who can, kindly turn on your camera. Okay, in the next five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Okay. Hey, so these are the pretty queens behind the camera. So why have you had your videos turned off the whole time? I don't understand this. I'm going to find all of you right after this. Trust me. So what? Like, I don't get it. You are too beautiful for me to see you all. I, I, okay. I'll just reserve the rest. I'll reserve the rest. I'll reserve it. I'll come and meet you all on the Telegram page. So with our video stand on, let's give them a round of applause. I want them to just see us clapping for them. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, great. Let's not stop. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. They are very deserving of it. Great, 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 great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Someone is shouting, shouting. She wants us to see that though she's not speaking, she's shouting, wow, 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 like the ambulance, like I am. <laughs> okay, great. So with this inspiration, right? I want us to conduct another very simple exercise. Considering the information we've had so far, I think we all have something that we're able to relate to based on the story Divine gave yeah. and the history that was coming from Exilda. So I want us to go on any of our social media platforms, put a picture of us there and write, I am an Amazon because so I'm, I might say I'm an Amazon because I am relentless, right? I'm an Amazon because I feel like a goddess, like someone said. I'm an Amazon because I'm influential. I help in climate change issues. I help with children issues, children with disability. I'm a, an advocate for intersectionality when pursuing our agenda, right, in all dimensions. So I would want us to partake in this challenge right after now or during this period, you could post a picture of yours and write, I am an Amazon because, and indicate whatever you, you feel makes you an, um, an Amazon, right? So moving on, we have a very interesting 
YFLs. I think YFL wasn't mentioned during the um, elaboration by Exilda. So for those of us wondering what or who an, a YFL yeah. is, a YFL is a young female leader, and this is the name attributed to any member of the Ali, right? The Amazon Leadership Initiative. So at this point, you are all in the process of becoming YFLs because we believe and trust that you are all doing something in your very own capacity, in your small corner, that makes you a young female leader. So we are going to introduce some of our very own YFLs who have been a part of the Ali and feel they've been impacted after they joined this initiative. We want to let you know that uh, we are singing the praises of the Ali, not because we feel like, but truly there is an impact that is felt in the lives of all those that become members of the Ali. So I'm giving the floor to Lina to introduce to us our YFLs to share their experiences with us, trust me. This is a very long journey, one that I'm not going to um, regret ever joining. So Lina, who do we have first on the list? Um, thank you so much, Jacinta, for that. Sorry, I was I forgot to to unmute myself, so I was just talking. The heat here, it's it, 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 it's a little bit too much, right? So I'm going to introduce the next speaker. Is she going to speak next? I, okay, right. So it's Rachel Okoronko. Rachel has a bachelor's degree in biochemistry from the prestigious University of Calaba in Nigeria. In her professional capacity, she contributes to the impactful work of Clones House as a monitoring and evaluation assistant where she plays a role in shaping data-driven narratives and progress assessments. As an emergent evaluator, she's passionate about driving innovation as well as positive change through data-driven insights. Her interests span a wide spectrum from public policy advocacy and youth leadership to sustainable development. Her work is guided by a core principle, the pursuit of gender equity and inclusion in every facet of development. She firmly believes in equal opportunities, that equal opportunities are the bedrock of success in thriving communities. As a proud member of Evil Youth, she is committed to amplifying youth perspectives and fostering informed decision-making in development initiatives. So that, in a nutshell, is who Rachel Okoronko is. So Rachel, if you are here with us today, please do take it away. Thank you. Hello, Rachel. Okay, I think this is a deliberate ploy by Rachel. You know what? Let me tell you a little secret. These YFLs, right? They are people you would have to book appointments with on the normal day-to-day -day life to meet them. So Rachel wants to give us some bit of feeling as to who she is. Rachel, we understand you are very important, okay? I think everyone here agrees to that. Don't we? Don't we agree Rachel is very important? Yes. So it looks like Rachel wants us to send a whole palanquin, royal palanquin, to bring her in. It's true. The comments are coming in. Everyone agrees Rachel is important. So as we are sending in the palanquin to bring in Rachel to show how important she is, uh, I think someone can take the limelight whilst Rachel comes in. So Lina, if you could please introduce the next person as we send the Royal Palanquin to bring Madam Rachel in. Hi, oh, Jacinta. Thank you so much. Uh, Rachel, are you in? Yeah. Yes, I am so sorry. Oh, so no, when you no, asked no, us... Don't worry. Rachel, don't worry. We understand. We know the I palanquin have... delayed. Don't worry. You can go ahead and begin, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, Jessica. Hi, young female leaders. Good evening to you from wherever you're joining us today. I am so sorry. 
um, when Jacinta asked us to turn on our videos, I did, and then the network threw me out. So, <laughs> so sorry, I may be unable to turn on my video at the moment. No, no worries. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I am super excited to be here to meet you all amazing women. Yes, and I'm excited to, to share the insights, the valuable insights I gained from the last year's um, leadership forum. It was a very beautiful one. It was eye-opening and um, there were lots of take-homes. And I hope you, you know, like if you're able to attend this year's forum, I really advise that you find time, take notes, listen to all the speakers. And I'm sure that if you apply some of those practical um, tips they're going to share, they are really going to help people personally and professionally. So for myself, um, there was something that stood out for me in the whole conversations we had for those two days. And then the first thing would be um, the need for you to have three categories of people in your life. The first is a mentor. The second is a role model. And then the third is a support system. Yeah, when you hear these three terms, oh, it's quite, I mean, they play quite similar roles. But at this time, you have to clearly know that these three persons or these three people play very, like very similar, but very distinct roles in your life. Now, who is a mentor? Just consider a mentor as a teacher, someone who is experienced, someone who is knowledgeable, someone who holds your hands, who tells you, okay, do this this way and it's going to work. And that's a mentor. So a mentor is a coach, a mentor is a teacher. And now your role model, your role model is someone you look up to, someone you, you gain inspiration from, someone you look up to and you say, oh, because they can do this, I can do this. And that's a role model. And now the, the tricky thing about role models is that, so this is why you have to clearly distinguish the roles these people play in your life. Now your role model can be your mother, but your mentor could be someone who has um, experience in a particular sector. So when you're able to clearly differentiate these, you will know that, okay, this person plays the role of a role model in my life. And this person plays the role of um, a mentor or a teacher or a coach. And now the third um, category or the third um, group would be the support system. Now the support system are those individuals. So it could be your family, it could be your friends, it could even be a community of volunteers. It could be that. So just see the support system as the community, those people who are there to give you that support, who are there to celebrate your wins, who are there to encourage you when you fall. You know, people who hold your hands regardless of what you're going through, people who are there to support you emotionally, financially, and otherwise yeah so if you're able to have these three people in your lives and you know you clearly distinguish the roles they play to be honest with you you are going to soar and then because of time and because of network and to also allow other speakers to talk um the last thing i would like to say is that whenever you enter a room don't let those people live the same way you should you should know that yeah there are lots of stereotypes um about women oh you're a woman you're african you're black your place should be at home, your place should be in the kitchen, or you're just meant to birth and keep the home. But you should tell them that, no, I am a woman and I have I have knowledge in all of this. And this is why you should read why. This is why you should know a little about a whole lot of things. So you have to make sure that whenever you enter a room, you're able to stand out, you're able to break those barriers, you're able to show those women that, yes, I am a woman and I am proud that I'm African and I am proud that I am black, and I'm proud to be empowered. I am strong. I am an Amazon. And so the last word I would have for all of us today is that, yes, you're a woman and you should be proud to be a woman. You should know that your voice matter. You should know that your opinion is significant and that your dreams are valid. Thank you so much for listening to me. And yeah, I hope you um, enjoy the rest of the side events and also listen to the other speakers who will be sharing their stories and yeah, over to you, Jacinta. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Rachel. At this point, I now understand why you needed a royal palanquin to bring you in. It makes so much sense. Thank you so much for sharing these words of wisdom with us. Thank you. So my key takeaways are that one, a mentor is not the same as a role model, neither is it the same as a support system. Someone is enjoying herself so much, I can see she's munching on some popcorn. I see you. <laughs> Okay, so please let's try to distinct very um, clearly between who a role model is 
a mentor and a support system. I think for me, I feel very happy and content that I have over 101 sisters scattered all over Africa who I can call as my support base system. Aren't we happy to be a part of this huge network? If you are happy as I am, please show Rachel some love on the chat box. Snap love emojis, jubilant mood, anything that shows how happy you are. Rachel, thank you so much. And we are very happy to have heard your experience. I think the chat is like, it's burning. The chat box is burning. By the time you are done with this um session today, Zoom would have to take out chat box and make it chat boxes because Charlie, we are killing it. <laughs> thank you so much, Rachel. Um, Lina, who someone is clapping on her own. Oh my God, Rachel, you're killing it, you know. <laughs> okay, Lina, who else is next? Let, let, <laughs> let the fire keep burning. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, um, Rachel, for, 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 for that. Um, thank you for the platform as well, um, Jacinta. Our next speaker is uh, Elizabeth Juma. Elizabeth Juma is a medical student at Mulungishi University in Zambia. She loves adventure, networking, sport, and other extra, ooh, extra activities. She is currently a Doctor's Leadership Academy student ambassador. She's passionate about SDGs, which includes SDG 13 on climate change, good health, and well-being. Elizabeth recently volunteered as a STEAM lead during the Youth Day of Service under Environment Savers of Zambia in August 2023. She's a Millennium Fellow Class of 2023 doing a project called Save the Earth with focuses on SDG 13 and its interlinking SDGs. Elizabeth, please, if you are here, please take it away. Hi everyone. I hope Hi. I'm audible enough. You are very audible. You can proceed. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for the opportunity to share my experience. I'm very, very excited to share my experience with everyone ever since I became um, a member of the Amazon Leadership Initiative. Um, so I attended my first conference, which was in 2021. Uh, that was the first forum I attended. And ever since then, I have seen great change in my life. Um, so first of all, um, one of the things I've seen change in my life is that I have actually come out of my comfort zone, or should I say my shell? I have come out of that shell. And then another thing is that uh, the Amazon Leadership Initiative has given me opportunities to network with not only um, my fellow sisters, but other people. Um, I got a, a, a chance to represent uh, the Amazon Leadership Initiative during the Summit for Democracy, which took place in March this year. And I moderated the second session of um, a youth uh, side event which was amazing for me. It was the first time I moderated um, a session and um, it was amazing. Um, it brought more opportunities for me and did greater things uh, for me. And also uh, it's given me an opportunity to make sisters. I've gained sisters along the way, along the journey. Um, yeah, I've, I've not only gained friends, but sisters as well, such as Bontle, Andile, Mwansa, so many sisters that I would fail to mention because there are so many and they've helped me so much and I've learned so much from them. Um, another thing is uh, that throughout my journey with the, the Amazon Leadership Initiative, mm -hmm. I've learned to realize that Age should never limit what you can do. Um, I remember the first forum we had, we had, if I'm not mistaken, we had um, a female um, minister and she was in her 20s, if I'm not mistaken. And that's not something you see all the time. 
And it was very inspiring that someone as young as that and who is female could handle such great things. And also, um, I think the forum for 2022, um, there was um, a woman, I, I can't remember her name, but um, the things she did, she didn't do uh, great things at a very young age, but in her older age, which shows that whether you're young or you're old, you can still do great things and you should never limit yourself or look down on yourself just because someone else did it in their 20s and you ended up doing it in your 40s, which is something I've learned a lot because I used to have challenges with that, seeing your friends doing things at an earlier age and you're doing it at a later age, making you feel less, but um, the speaker actually did something that opened my eyes, which was you should never feel less of yourself just because you're doing it at a later age. So it should never limit what you can do. Another thing is that you should never wait um, to face a challenge for you to find a solution. Um, I remember uh, one of these side events we had on uh, female genital mutilation. And in Zambia, we don't face that. But just because we don't face it doesn't mean I cannot advocate for it. So with the Ali, I have learned if others are facing it and you feel you can help with that, then advocate for it. You don't have to face it for you to feel the impact. So because my sisters were facing it in other countries, it was also my sole responsibility to step in and help out, to find the best ways I can help out. So that in case it starts happening in Zambia, I already have the solutions Great. to that problem. Great, thank and you then, so much, Elizabeth. Thank yeah, I'm so, so sorry uh, for taking up most of the time. No worries, I'll try summing up and then we can proceed. All right, so the last thing is, as Miss Mary always says, learn to take up space and don't always wait for opportunities to come to you. Sometimes follow them and always be prepared for them. Don't wait, don't prepare when an opportunity presents itself. Prepare before an opportunity presents itself so that when it comes, you are well prepared for it. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. You know, at this point, I want us to all turn on our cameras and then clap, clap, clap. Our speakers have been inspirational so far. Like I'm waiting for us to turn on. And I don't know why these people are hiding their faces behind the camera, mm. but oh well. Oh, well, please, let's clap. Let's make them feel the love in the house. Great, 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 great. I think one key takeaway from Elizabeth's um, submission is in the words of Martin Luther King, where he says, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. So um, I think one key thing she also mentioned has to do with the sisterhood that exists in this network. So she's made so many friends, so many friends, and that's one thing I can assure you of. Right now, I have sisters. I don't know which part of Africa I don't have a sister. Like if I should go missing in any African country, I'm very sure I'll not sleep on the road for that. Because right now, I've not met Moloy in person, but I know there's a lot of popcorn in her house. So should I get to her country? I won't be stuck. I see you, Moloy. <laughs> okay, great. So, um, Lina, please kindly introduce the next speaker. Lina. <laughs> oh my god i was just speaking and i forgot to unmute myself Sorry, I understand. So, uh, I'm I'm so you don't even realize your microphone is off <laughs> it's fine <laughs> so i can relate to 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 what um to what elizabeth said because yeah. when i joined the amazon leadership initiative myself i joined as an associate right and I joined last year. There were so many things I couldn't do. To be quite honest, I hope no one is recording. I hope none of you is recording because I don't want to trend. So when I joined the Amazon Leadership Initiative, I couldn't even write a decent email. So 
our founder taught us almost everything how you show up in a room where there are people of high caliber and under normal circumstances you will be afraid right so because of time um let me quickly just introduce the next speaker who is none other than who is none other than Cynthia Anyango. So yes. Cynthia Anyango is a Kenyan certified social worker and community developer. And because she is black, listen, and because she is black, she knows her dreams are valid. And so are yours. And I think if you have been following the Amazon Leadership Initiative for some time, you know that is our mantra. Black child, your dreams are valid. Um, Cynthia, please. The platform is yours. Take it away. <laughs> well, hi, everyone. I hope you are getting me. So, yeah. Anyone, if you're getting me, just let me know. Okay, thank you. So let me give you a little gist. Let us gist, as Nigerians will say. Let us gist. So the last annual leadership meeting happened on the 28th and 29th October, and that was my very first annual meeting. Yeah, that is when I joined the Ali. And I was privileged to be among the 1,500 young female leaders who were elected, who were selected to be a part of the initiative. So one thing I got from that lady who spoke is that time is sure a limit, but you should not limit yourself, but you should not allow yourself to be limited by time. Yeah, that is what I wanted to say. So I was very excited. I was looking forward for what the Ali has to offer. I was a bit uncertain of what is in store for me because you're a platform where we are 1,500. Where was I fitting? Where was I? I was asking myself, where would I be fitting? I don't even like to speak, but let me tell you, I am the speaker now. I can speak. I can speak for Africa. Hmm. So... Fast forward, I, we were given opportunities. No, it was the international, yeah, international, we were commemorating the International Day of Zero Tolerance for FGM. And I was like, why not? I should try this one. Maybe I should, maybe I should just challenge myself to speak. And let me tell you, I kid you not, I was given a space. I was allowed to speak. And I did my best. Nirat, will you say that I did my best? Because if you remember, I did my best. If you can remember, I was among the people speaking. So I know for sure I did my best. So from our carcass discussion on the poems, so I'm from St. Carcass and we had um, discussions on different poems and I was, I was very glad that we were having such discussions because you get a chance to learn, you get a chance to experience other people's way of thinking and you just have to experience everything, everything that has to do with the society and their needs and how to go about some things in life. So this is like the points that we were discussing in our kakas was one of my best experiences ever. and. The second, secondly, I had to learn more through research and different. So from that commemoration of the FGM and um, hygiene, there was something about hygiene that we also did. And I was learning so much because you have to research, you have to undertake some good researches. You have to know what it entails, how people are suffering from FGM, what are the causes of FGM and how other countries are handling FGM. So I had to learn so much. And from that, I can say that 
to all the ladies listening to me, you'll be you'll be given a platform, but it has to be your own choice to make a difference. Remember, you're bold, you're a warrior, and you're an Amazon. So never let your crown tilt, and even if it tilts, never let it fall. That was my time. Thank you so much. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, Cynthia. At this point, any one word, any sentence, string of words that like caught you on fire from Cynthia's word, please just put on the chat box. I can see amazing. I can see on fire. I can see splendid. Just just let ah never let your crown fall, even if it tilts. Exactly. Let's put our main takeaways on the chat box. Leaders. Please share. Yes, 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 yes. So please let's remember to share all that we are learning on our social media platform. You know, let everyone be looking at our WhatsApp status right now and be wondering where exactly is this girl? Because I know she's in the room. So how come she's so on fire on her WhatsApp status on her um Facebook page? What's going on? Hashtag your black girl, your dreams are valid, Zoom hangouts, side events. Like, what's going on? What's going on with this girl? Because I know she's in the room. She's not going anywhere now. So it's making her so much on fire. Yes. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cynthia. So, Lina, please, who is ready to shake the ground? Um, thank you, Jessica. Um, Thank you so much, Cynthia, for I can relate to almost everything you guys are saying. And I'm like, okay, well... And to everybody else that is here, I hope you guys are part of the caucuses. We have the uh, the Stand caucus. We have the West Africa caucus. That is for people or rather young female leaders from West Africa. And we have the Southern Africa. So if you are not yet part of the any of the caucus and you are on the Telegram group, I please urge you to join the caucuses as well. Because after the forum, then we can also communicate with each other through the caucus group, right? So next one of speakers is Palisa Mokwa. Palisa is a South African feminist and activist for young women and girls, right? Currently working for the Seoul City Institute and tackling issues on mental, male, mental health, sorry, myths and assisting those who are beyond metric level with relevant information through youth clubs she formed called Youth Vibes. Um, Palisa, please take it away. Greetings, everybody. Can everyone hear me? You are loud and clear. Yes, yes you are loud okay. and clear. All the way from South Africa, and I think Nina introduced me just fine. Um, I'm an Amazon because I'm fed up. I'm fed up of anything that is toxic that is made to be normal. I'm fed up of how African young women are violated in any way just because they are women. I'm fed up of women being objectified. If that is in a way. <laughs> anyway, um, I've always been about a girl child empowerment, whether she's in She's in, She's at home, whether she's at church, school, anywhere, you name it. Um, I'm simply doing this, and I'm, I'm glad that we, we all we all have a common ground in terms of, you know, being tired of having to face the same issues every year, being tired of having rape, being tired of anything you can think of that is a violation to a girl child. Um, I think a, a young women's club where we we tackle issues such as mental health um in terms of you know knowing that having a mental health issue is not a taboo or it's not a myth it's a real thing you know as much as one is physically ill in any way you can still have the same thing but mentally um and i'm an amazon because of every lady that is in here i'm an amazon because of the world have so much common ground and we don't even realize it. You know, for example, one would think that if you're in South Africa, the issues we face are only in South Africa. 
but being part of the Amazon has has made me realize that no man, even in Kenya, even in anywhere in, in, in Africa, people face such. I've watched a documentary about um, women having their own village, you know, a village with no men because they don't want forced marriages. They're tired of abuse and, and all the, the negativity that men bring it within their lives. Um, yeah, um, I've heard um, Elizabeth talking about um, being being the opportunity, if, if that's her word. <laughs> but in my words, be the opportunity. Don't wait. Yes, don't wait. Don't doubt. Don't fear. If anything, go in with your fears. You know, don't be afraid of your potential because it's great. It's beyond means. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Be fed up of toxicity. Be Thank fed up. Change it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Palessa. Thank you so much. At this rate, please tag um, anything you learned on your social media platforms. I remember to tag Viali. Remember to tag um, Zoom side hangout event. Um, do well to elaborate a particular statement that has kept you on fire this whole evening on your social media platform. Attach the name of the speaker from whom you extracted that sentence and make sure you, you blow your platforms with what you are learning. I'm so happy we are all agreeing that we are learning so much here. Um, so next up, Palessa, God bless you so much for sharing what you've benefited from Giali so far. Um, Lina, who do we have next? I think we are drawing gradually to the end of our speakers. Um, thank you so much, um, Palisa. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, mental health is something we don't talk much about, mm. but we need to more emphasis on mental health. I am a um, self-proclaimed mental health advocate because I believe that we are going through a lot. So we need to be there for others. We need to look after our mental health. And this is something we, oftentimes we ignore or we rather don't talk about because mm. we are human and sometimes we are afraid of being judged. Mm. But the message that I want to leave you with you guys here is that please look after your mental health. Mm. It's very, very important. And so next on our list is Salma Ali. Salma has a diploma in information technology from Mount Kenya University. She is a passionate advocate against gender-based violence, drugs and substance ab abuse and violence. She provides guiding and counseling sessions to her fellow youth and led several pet drive campaigns. Sama is also a martial arts instructor in talent training girls defense as one way of preventing sexual harassment in women. Her biggest hobby is traveling the world. My biggest hobby is also traveling. So Sama, please do grace us with your wisdom. Over to you. Salma, Salma, do you also need a palanquin? Salma. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Jacinta, if Salma is not here yet, um, can I introduce the next speaker while she's coming? Is that okay? Because I'm afraid we are running out of time here. Jacinta? Yeah. Can we introduce the next speaker? Great, great. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. It looks like Salma is all right. having challenges. Yeah, while she's coming, while she's coming. So our next speaker is Masinde Ewino Miriam. 
Mariam is from Kampala, Uganda, and she's currently pursuing a bachelor's degree in arts with education at Kiambongo University. She is a class coordinator and the guide representative counselor for the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. Miriam values herself for being an excellent communicator and highly flexible. Some of the facts of an effective leader as well. Her dreams are to continue nurturing young female leaders through the power of education. Miriam is inspired by travel, like she likes poetry, reading novels, as well as writing. Miriam, please do grace us with your wisdom. The platform is yours. Please do take it away. Thank you. Just so much for the warm invite. Hi, everyone. Good evening. I hope you're all well and doing amazing. So today with you, I want to share something that I have learned from the Amazon the Leadership Initiative that you're in right now or that you're joined. I, I want to say that I'm really blessed and I'm I'm very blessed and I feel I feel powerful with the Amazon uh three interactions developed um Miriam are you still here communication and leadership trust me this is the right place no responsibility of myself one is a girl it is very hard to or yeah yes I am Hello? Yeah, Miriam, we may have what you said. If you could continue more audibly. Okay, Salma, back. Is Salma ready? Uh, Miriam, we are sorry to hear you. I'm really struggling to hear you. So, you seem so much clear. Uh, no, we are really struggling to hear you. It looks like there's a big network issue at your end. So, if Salma is available, is Salma around? Is Salma around? Okay. While we wait for both of them to um work things out at their end, I would need you all to go on your social media platforms right now. And then um, say why on Amazon, right? And hashtag Viali so that we get interactive on our various social media platforms. Um, is Salma back? Is Salma back? Whilst we wait for Salma, can we all please turn on our videos? I want to have a peep, just a tiny peep at our gorgeous faces once again. Let's all smile. Let's take a very beautiful group picture. Oh, wow. Like, I'm overly amazed at the pretty faces that have been hiding behind the camera all this while. Okay, so we are going to pose. Are we ready? Are we ready to pose? Okay, so I want you to give a cheese in your background. Are we ready? One, two, three, cheese. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, I think someone is begging that she missed that picture. 
So we'll go for the last time. Are you ready? Okay, this is the very last one. So make sure you put on your best face, right? Okay, okay. One, two, three. Cheese! Awesome! Awesome, 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 awesome. Awesome. Oh my goodness. The Ali girls aren't only pretty. They are warriors. They are everything. Like I think they are complete. What 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 can I use? Okay, I just use the word they are complete 360. Whatever it is, we are 360. We are all in all, like everything, everything, like everything, everything. You should be a proud member of this fraternity. Uh let me see. Okay, okay, that's fine. Great. So um I want us to conduct our last mood checker, right? We started with a particular mood. So I want you to put your first mood emoji and then put the mood you are currently in right now on the chat box. Let's see. Let's see. Some people are dancing. I don't know what they are probably doing right now. Because if they're dancing with their shoes, with their heat in this building. They should be dancing without their shoes right now. Yes, yes, I can see the fire emojis. Interesting. The transition is mad. Some people are laughing. They can't even sit still. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, I think we did a good job. Oh, give it up for us. Let's all clap for ourselves. We all made today's program a huge success. I'm so happy we are enjoying ourselves. Don't forget to put the number one takeaway on your social media platform and tag dearly for us to get interactive. So if Mariam isn't here and Salma is also not here, then we would have to call the three um, lucky people um how, how should i go about this like i want to reward so many people here that i'm thinking of the best way to capture so many okay so looking at everything we've heard so far right i want three people the first three people to raise their hands up to tell us what their expectation is looking at what they've heard now for the um upcoming forum Three people. I didn't even finish the question and I got three hands. My goodness. My, ah, four. Okay. This is going to be hard. Five. Okay. I think I'm going to get 50 hands. I brought this upon myself, right? Yeah. Someone is saying she's shy. Okay. 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 Bethel. Bethel, you go first. Tell us what your expectations are for the annual forum coming up. My Hi goodness. everyone. And I from them. what I've heard from, from our sisters, like my expectations have like risen from where it was. It has gone over a hundred because there's the specific sister who said that she learned how to write emails. And when I received uh, the link to join this event, I had no idea what Ali is. And I'm like, what is this? She's like, just join. Trust me, it will help you. And I was like, I filled the form and I sent the application and I completely forgot about it. But when I was accepted, I'm like, okay. The group chats, how people are interacting, um, talking to people from different countries. Like even someone said in the group, now if I go to a specific country in Africa, I will be like, oh, I know someone from here. So that unity, that bond. And also I look forward to learning so much from people because then there's the topic of um, mutilation, GBV and all that. And I'm very excited. I cannot wait to take up as much information from everyone here. And I'm just, I'm just so happy. It's quite wait. obvious. It's quite obvious you are super happy. Okay. <laughs> let me see. Tilodi, Tilodi, let's hear from you. Which country are you speaking from? And let's hear your expectations. Hello, everyone. So nice. my name is Tato Hadi. You can call me Tato. And yeah, I'm listening to um everybody's experience um in this initiative. I am um expecting to not only grow intellectually. But also, you know, get a a chance whereby I'm able to explore um the 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 the, the, the new things um that um the initiative itself has in store for us, 
and also um be able to also be more verbal you know i i i i'm no i know i'm very shy and always in my own shell you know um so i think with this initiative i'll be able to you know um grow verbally and also you know uh yeah <laughs> just to have Thank fun. You so much <laughs> to the, trust me you don't sound like a shy person one bit anyone who feels i'm i'm actually saying the truth can indicate in the chat but that she sound like a shy person okay and that brings <laughs> us to the end we are almost at the end of this. Um, I want us looking at all the speakers that have spoken in terms of the participants, right? Not the speakers from the Ali. Who do you think deserves an award from the Ali? Kindly indicate their name on the chat box right now. Um, we'll reach out to the person and then the person will get her special gift. The gift is actually an, how will I put it? A precious Ali t-shirt. And that shirt, trust me, it's not common. You can't get it in a shop. You can't even get it in the biggest boutique in the world. So unless we send you that shirt, trust me, the end no way you get in it. So the winner of this, I can see names. I'm quite writing their own names. Don't worry. We will count the other names. I can see Molloy. <laughs> okay, I can see Elizabeth. Uh, okay, we are going to look at the names and then we'll contact the winner. And then we would award a person accordingly. So we promised an hour and 30 minutes session, and we are going to end exactly on time. So we are going to call upon our bishop, who is going to end today's session for us with the Islamic faith since we started with the Christian faith. So if Salma is here, Salma, kindly commit us into the hands of our creator, just as we did in the onset. Salma, over to you. Salma. Okay, it looks like Salma isn't around. So I would call upon is Nurat is Nurat around? If Nurat is around, or oh, peace. Is, is Nurat around? If peace is also around, peace could do as Yannis. Peace could do as Yannis of praying. Um, is, uh, are these hands that want to pray for us in the Islamic faith? I'm seeing Iman. Is Iman available? I don't know if she wants to pray for us. Okay. Okay, it looks like I would have to pray. So shall we pray? Eyes close, everyone. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for a very wonderful session this evening. We commit into your hands these very pretty ladies who are ready to soar upon an adventure. We pray that, Lord, for whatever intention that they've joined in this initiative, that will satisfy them and cause them to live here with testimonies like others have shared years with them. And may this all work out for the good of Africa. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So bye, ladies. Bye. I really enjoyed myself and I hope you all did too. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye everyone. I can't wait to have a next one. Bye. Bye. Bye bye everyone. It was very amazing. Bye everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.